Hello beautiful ladies of my heart. It is time again for a yays and nays and newbies. The yays and nays from January. Alrighty, let's just dive right into it. I have so many loves. <laughs> so many yays. Okay, we'll start with skincare. I, I just had one new thing last year was this last year, last January. It was the Juno Skin Balm Cleanser. Still working great. Love it. For the hair, it is not your mama's, <laughs> not your mother's, Beach Babe Pomade. Oh, it's lovely. It's a little thick. You just, as I said, you put a little on your fingers and then just go through your hair and it's wonderful. I love it. Okay, so that's a keeper. Now for makeup. Well, new for January was my Yensa and Euphoria. Okay. Both of them are lovely. The only thing wrong with Yensa, it's the wrong color. It's a little too light. I have to mix it with a light medium because this is light natural and it's just, just, just a hair off, but the formulation is wonderful. It's just like wearing a serum. It's lovely. Okie dokie, that's, those are great. And then oh, I did a brow tutorial and I went back to my Anastasia pomade in ash brown. I love it with my little teeny tiny brush. That is a definite keeper. I also love the Wet n Wild pencil in ash brown. This one is lovely. I like that it has a spoolie on the end and it goes on. It seems, that's what I have on today, a little truer to my grayness. And then I did the concealer review and my picks for last month. I really like this NYX, this new serum concealer. It's very nice. I think I'm a little too yellowish for the color. I think I need to go a little more fair. Fair to Midland. And of course, my holy grail is the Lancome tint. And it's in Buff In. It's just, it's a perfect formulation to wear for a no makeup makeup look. My NYX eyeliners, waterlines and eyeliner pencil. I love this color, this turquoise. Oh, it just, it goes with anything that I have on. I love it. I'm really enjoying colors. I think what my favorite is this tubing mascara by Tarte. I'm, I'm just, I keep coming back to it. And then another favorite is this, um, the Falsies Lash by Maybelline. This one's wonderful. I'm loving my Juvia Places palette. Places, place palette. My Loving my Juvia Place palettes. This is the candy shop. They're just, they're wonderful. You can put them on light or heavy. They just have so many pretty uh, gl glimmers. This is my ultimate favorite right now, is the Culture, the Explorer. These, are, they, these just have an array of wildness about them that you can mix and match. Then, what I'm on the fence about, which I really don't think I'll ever purchase again, is this Peter Thomas Roth, the uh, Plumping Lip Conditioner. Now, I have been using this faithfully since I got it for a month. And then, of course, I have my City Beauty Plumper that is half the cost when you buy it where you get two for 35. Otherwise, one is 35, and I think this was 29. I don't know that, the, I don't see the difference. I don't see any more plumpness compared to what I had before, but depending, you know, what you want, this is more of a conditioner and the, and the City Beauty is more of a limp plumper, <laughs> is more of a limp, is more of a lip plumper gloss. That, that took me a while to get out. All right, so I wouldn't purchase this again. And you know, I did the LA Girl with their little palette here and the one thing about it is they're all glittery and sometimes I would like matte so I have to mix it with another but I find that in my Juvia's place I have all those right there but this is a nice little palette but I, I, I'll give, give this to my granddaughters. They're La La girls. Let me tell you about the Nera Precision. Now, I ended up sending it back. There's a couple of reasons. The first one is that the button, it just, it it worked, sometimes didn't work, and it always misfired, and I swear I was on right on track. It was very annoying. But it was also kind of burning around my eyes. It's very, very targeted, and even on the lowest setting. But if you have to do the lowest setting, you're not gonna, you know, see results. So, yeah, I'm not, 
not real impressed with it, but what I've asked them if I can upgrade to the Nero Pro because that has a wider head, it won't be as painful, and you can get more areas than just, around. you can even do around your mouth and your eyes. Um, I, I don't think I'll do anything on my eyelids anymore. I'm just going to have to just go like this all the time, talk like this, so that my eyes look raised and beautiful. <laughs> okay, now the new stuff. Now, I know I already gave you a little bit about this Turter Korean uh, makeup. I'm going to do a video on it, on how to apply it, and I just wanted to use it a few more days. It's it's such a great concept that you can replace the... When you run out of that, you can just replace that, and you still have the compact. It's adorable. <laughs> and I got the color just perfect, I think. I have it on today. Okay. Then another... I, I know I showed you those concealers, but I've only used this for like a week. This is the Col Revlon Color Stay uh, Skin Awakener in Light. And it's just, it's like butter, ladies. I mean, it really, as long as you, I think with any conditioner in our skin at this age, we need to hydrate and prep the eyes. But so far, I'm really loving the ease of how this goes on and how it doesn't separate. Okay. I'll give you more next month. I got new. This uh, I was at Ulta, where I live, <laughs> my home away from home. I asked one of the young ladies there what she thought was a good setting spray. And she said, hands down, her favorite is Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush. Now, this is the small at $23, which I didn't think was that, that costly because these mists last me a long time. So I'll let you know how that works. What I haven't demoed yet is the It, Your Skin But Better Foundation. This is light cool. And I did one of the little tests on it. I've used it and it's lovely, but I only used it once. So I got to keep going on that. And then at Ulta, I got this. These were all on sale. This is Flower. They're illuminating, light illumination, light illusion. So it's got all day wear, SPF 15. And the color is, drum roll please, <laughs> it's a light medium. Anyway, I'm, I'm excited about these. These are supposed to be wonderful for mature skin. And they're middle of the road. I think this is this was 14 regular, and I think this regular is 40, but I got it for half that, so that they always have sales. But oh, if it's wonderful, I like to do middle of the high end, not the real high end like Estee Lauder and Chanel and you are. Just, I just can't. I'm so excited about this. I want to show you. Everybody's been talking about trios. This is by Josie Marin. Blush, Shadow, and Brighten. The colors are look gorgeous. Now, just something for a, a just quick makeup look and run out the door and look glowing and lovely. Isn't it going to be great? I have so, I have so many different makeups coming. Also, I'm going to do Smoky eye, cat eye, and cut crease for hooded eyes. I got to practice on that one. Anything else you would like to see, please keep those suggestions coming. It's just, it's wunderbar. Oh, I love it. If you like my videos, please like them and subscribe. It means the world to me. I appreciate it. Okay, I love you. I'll see you soon.